so close to almost being okay. Just expanded a bit, grab this. Long way to go then. Hopefully opportunities abound. High pressure, obviously the new the new pressure from the heights on the west side of it. So uh, yeah, we basically spent the day trying to get south, but given the current and the light winds, that was quite hard. So we're sort of kind of treading water until uh, the high caught us up sufficiently that we've been able to jive down and uh, attack initially, and now jiving downwind just to try and uh, start getting south to the new wind. So uh, seems a little bit counterintuitive to try and. Uh, Try and sail back on ourselves, but uh, that's actually in the way of the new breeze. So uh, we're probably another 12 hours or so of pointing in a not very uh, exciting direction for us. But hopefully, uh, once that's all over, we can jive and then uh, we'll be heading down to the southeast and uh, towards the ice gate. And things will look, look a lot better on the tracker. <laughs> Luckily, they don't see the heading. They see the cop. <laughs> Stars and the Milky Way. See the galaxy pretty darn clearly right now. Not a whole lot of light in the sky down here. very much continues and uh, the high pressure that ran us over because it was moving east to west is now not moving fast enough so we have to go around it <laughs> so uh, yeah it's currently driving our way south just trying to get to the better pressure to the uh, to the south of the high pressure and uh, yeah that involves a bit more uh, southwest action and we're moving by mid afternoon this afternoon the wind should build and uh, and then we should be able to get back on port tack and things will get steadily quicker again as we get our way down to the ice gate. But uh, yeah, it's a bit of a tiptoeing along the edge of the high at the moment. The randomness of offshore racing continues. Hopefully by six o'clock this evening, we'll be pointing vaguely in the direction of Cape Horn. 